morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the 16th of April, 2023. Welcome to the monthly Fu Qingquan Yang style Tai Chi Quan. Uh, very, very happily, we have the, this lecture again after three weeks gap. Uh, last session, uh, Master Fu, he was in Handan and um, very thankfully, uh, although he was attending a very important training event in China, he still tried to squeeze time and also uh, found a very, very nice uh, place to give us the lecture. And today, according to our uh, European Tai Chi cultural platform schedule, it's the lecture again. That's great. Before the start of today's lecture, I just can't help sharing with a great news with you guys. Uh, as we know, last month, uh, Master Fu was in Handan. Uh, why he was in Handan? Uh, one, that was because of the great training event. Two, in around the 5th of April every year, that is a very, very important Chinese cultural festival day in Chinese culture. That's called Qingming uh, Festival Day. On that day, we are supposed to worship our ancestors and we go to their tombs, clean the tombs, we memorize our past away uh, parents and ancestors, we think about the values we learned from them, we memorize the sweet days and the time we spent together with them, and also we self inspect ourselves, whether we have followed their values, if the ancestors knew what we were doing, if they would be happy. And, and that's a very important uh, part of Chinese culture. And because of this culture, Master Fu, he attended a very, very grand event held by Handan City Council. And they organized this um, ancestor worship event to worship the Yang family uh, and Fu family. So uh, we've gathered some uh, information to share with you. And please, Miss um, Chiang, would you please uh, kindly share with us some uh, video about this event? Thank you. 
that's great. That's great. Hello, hello. <laughs> master Fu, Master Fu. So nice to see you. And you're back, back to Shanghai now. Yes. Yeah, that's that's the the hall we are familiar with. Thank you so much for sharing this this video with us. And we would like to sincerely thank Mr. Yang Xing, um, Master Fu's colleague. Uh, he specifically prepared this video for us. The video is so wonderful. And uh, while we watch it, <clears throat> we just can't help uh, wishing we could be there with you. Uh, and uh, maybe, maybe next year or the year after next year, we could organize some yeah, some Tai Chi players and uh, we could organize an event in China and in, in Handan maybe uh, or Shanghai and we could learn Tai Chi with you face to face and we could go to some uh, Tai Chi famous places like Handan to worship our Tai Chi masters ourselves. And the event looked really so, so grand, so grand. And you, you, you would feel different when you <clears throat> participate in it. And you, you, you would have a more deep feeling towards Tai Chi, and which will help to understand and enjoy Tai Chi. Uh, I, I sort of feel um, it can help to rebuild uh, even our our culture and uh, our nature. Thank you, thank you. And the stage is yours, Master Fu. And we 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 can't help to to learn. Just uh, so happy to learn from you again. Okay, okay. Thank you, Isabella. Okay. And uh, welcome all the Tai Chi friends around the world. And uh, Isabella is uh, have a very good uh, explain the, we just have the 15th, the World Union Tai Chi, the year train, okay? The, every year we have the year train. And uh, this is, the 15th. So that means we already continue 15 years nonstop and have this special training. And the first nine years, we are hold this training every year in Shanghai. But from the 10th until now, the 15th, we are all training and move to the hometown of Handan. Yeah, hometown of Tai Chi, Handan. So this year is the 15th. And normally we are hold this training in end of March and the beginning of April. And this is a wonderful time of the spring. And also is the Qingming season. And the Qingming Festival, in the traditional Chinese history, we are in this festival, we are, are is memory, the, 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 the already passed away, the parents, uh, and also the respect, the, the masters, uh, is, this is the uh, Qingming memory, service is all deeply in the Chinese people's heart. So the Qingming festival almost time is in the 5th of April, but sometimes it's 4th of April, but oftenly about 99%, um, cannot say 99%, huh? maybe 97% is at April 4. So normally we are in this period, 
Uh, normally, is uh, before the Qingming Festival, we are have a memory service for the Tai Chi masters. Yeah, and uh, memory them, and also is thanks for them, is give wonderful Tai Chi supplied to the world. So in the video, you can see we are first into the the great grandmaster, young family's tomb. Then after we are move the team to the full family's tomb. Uh, so this is uh, uh, every year we did that. So just like Isabella say, is uh, we are really welcome around the world the Tai Chi friends and the Tai Chi family, actually, we have to say, is welcome to China and at this period, okay? Whatever is uh, Tai Chi memory trip or the Tai Chi, uh, you know, is holidays. Uh, so this is really good. Let we uh, understand when our master come from and the way is the master berry and the way we can show the respect to them. So again, welcome. And also I hope the Europe Tai Chi Center, one day we can organize that very successful trip to China, especially Han Dang, okay? And also, lots of people don't know, even lots of Chinese people also don't know, is, have you heard about the first emperor of China? Yeah. I think a lot of people know, oh, first emperor's tomb in Xi'an is the terracotta warrior, yeah? is a terracotta warrior, is so famous around the world. This is the first emperor where he buried is in Xi'an. But lots of Chinese people also don't know, is actually Han Dan is the birthplace of first emperor. So, Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor, he is born in Handan. So Handan is have over 3000 years histories, the very fascinating uh, old Chinese city. So also is the birthplace of young style Tai Chi, the young family, and my family, O is in Handa. So again, really warmly welcome our Tai Chi family back to home. Okay. Yeah. And now today we have to be start the new lesson. This is the ninth lesson of the we are. European Tai Chi Centers, the first young style authentic forms course. And the last lesson I was show and share the white crane spreads the way. And did you remember we have a class in Handan, my Tai Chi home. Now I already come back to Shanghai. So now I'm in Shanghai to give you a lesson of the new form, the left knee brush. Okay, so I can see uh, our Tai Chi friends already start to have a warm up. That's great. <laughs> yeah, all right then, uh, we can do some warm up also before we started, okay? Uh, we remember the big 
10 circle movements. Okay, follow me. Yeah, we just do the big 10 circles. Lift up arms. Okay. Hands to right, hips to the left. And squash down and drop your arm, relax. Just relax, drop. Okay, now circle up again. One, two, three, four, Five, six, big hand circle, okay? Seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, we change the direction from right now to the left. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, calm down, relax. Okay, now we are loose up our lower body, okay? First, rotating your knee. And push your knee back a little bit from the side. Okay, squash down. Remedy. Okay, now second time. and bend your knee. Okay, start time. And knee. Okay, now touch your toe and stretch your legs. First is your finger. Up and down, ten times. Okay, now bend knee and change your hand to the fist. Touch your toe and push up. Second time. Okay, 
Now the last stretch is palm. We are getting more narrow and narrow. <laughs> Push up. And make sure you lift up your head, okay? Head is up. Don't look down your eye, looking forward. Squash your neck. Okay, now, very important, you have to squash down and open your chest and breathe in. Then you lift up your body. Okay. Great. Now my body is totally warmed. <laughs> All right. The eighth form. Now we up to the wide crane, spreads the wing. Okay. Now, first, watch me practice first. From the first opening form to the wide crane. Spreads the wing. Okay. Opening four. Yeah. Please just watch me. Looking carefully. Transfer your body weight to the left. Bend your left knee and cross your arms. Lift up your right foot and step out. Parting the one who's in the mind. Lift up your left hand. Heel turn, single whip. You turn, raise hand. White crane spreads the wing. Okay. Okay, dear Hachi friend. I just practice around our Tai Chi eight forms, the first few movements. And we are counting how many movements I've been did just before is Opening form, the first one. The second one is parting the wall horse's mind. The second one. Then is a single whip, third movement. Then is raise hand, fourth. Then the last one I just show you is white crane spreads the wing. So this is totally, we did five movements, okay? So opening form, parting the wall horse's mind, single whip, raise hand, and white crane spreads the wing. And today I will show you the left knee brush. Before we are learning the new movement now, you can follow me. I'm back to you, okay? And uh, you follow me to practice one around this section. Okay, open your foot and uh, shoulder width parallel and relaxing your body, 
your eye looking forward. Okay, lift up your arm, opening form, breathing, breathe out. Parting the wall, this is the main. Heel turn, left heel turn, and the body away, sit on the left foot. And cross your arms, step out. Parting the wall, this is the main. Then lift up your left hand and turn right palms down. Heel turn. Keep your body weight on the right foot and folding your arms and turning your waist and push your hand to 45 degrees and change your right hand to the hook and turn left the palm and step on your left foot single whip left the heel turn 15 degrees open your right hand and raise hand. Why the crane spreads the wind? Okay. All right. It's wonderful movement. Why the crane spreads the wing. Okay. Now, last lesson, I teaching our Tai Chi friend the why the crane spreads the wing. And the why the crane spreads the wing. This movement looks very nice but also it's very important you have to know the up hand the location is it's in front of your forehead the hand is in front of your forehead is not hand outside of your body but we have lots of people doing this movement. The head is outside the head. For example, look, some people doing this movement is like that. Looks nice, right? Is why the crane spreads the wing. Also, makes sense. So people easy to make a complicate. Oh, here, yeah. wrong. Here, yeah. in front of your forehead, you cannot be on the side. Yeah. So this is very important. If the people doing the hands outside of your head, that means he definitely not understand. The authentic young style Tai Chi is. This is modern Tai Chi. Yeah, modern Tai Chi is like this. The, the palms go back. And also the 42 Tai Chi, the white cream, the palms to the side. But young style Tai Chi, the palm to the front, but very important is inside, okay? This is very important to understand. In the Tai Chi, we have why the crane spreads the wing. But in the Tai Chi cyber, we have similar movement, but it's getting more open. It's called the why the crane Fly the wings. Bai He Liang Chi 
五行掌，白鹤展翅，五行掌。Is so. This is opened. 白鹤亮翅 This movement name in Chinese we call 白鹤亮翅 So the meaning is 白鹤白鹤 is white crane. 亮翅 is Start to open the wing. Start to open the wing. But in the Tai Chi cyber, we have the movement is called Bai He Zhan Chi Wu Xing Zhang. What is Bai He Zhan Chi? Ah, Bai He is the same white crane. Zhan Chi. So it's a liang chi he zhan chi. So it's a liang chi chi is wing. Liang is opening. But zhan chi zhan meaning is open and start to fly. So. In the Tai Chi cyber, this movement we are is opening. So please have a look the cyber. Okay, uh, my hands don't have a cyber. Mm. Okay, I got one cyber. Have a look. Now, look, I have our Tai Chi Saber. Okay, Tai Chi Saber here. So, Tai Chi Saber, we have a Bai He Zhan Chi Wu Xing Zhang. Liang Fen Zhang Yi Ho. Bai He Zhan Chi. Wu Xing Zhang. Okay. Bai He This movement, white crane flying with the wing, is based on the spread the wing. White crane spreads the wing. Okay. So it's a base. It's one is because it spreads the wing. That the other one is a fly. So from the side, you can see the movement. Why the crane? First, look. So this is a spread wing. Now, flying with the wing. Look, fly with the wing. So the movement is. First is why the crane spreads the wing. Then this is a block. Block and turning the body and the pushing the hand down. So this is really start to fly. So this movement you can see. Why the crane spreads the wing, fly with the wing. Okay. Now you understand. So this is a white crane movement. This white crane movement, you cannot off your front of your forehead. Wrong, incorrect. It's not to say hello, okay? It's a block. It's a protect your body. So this hand movement, please, our Tai Chi friend, to understand, to keep your hands in front of your forehead. Now I've tried different angle, give you a more practice. Have a look. Raise hand. Okay. 
while the crane spreads the wing, is open, close, and step out the same place and the, the toe 45 degrees and transfer your body weight. Now lift up your left foot. One, two, three, white crane spreads the wind. One more time. One. Two, three, okay. So this is the last lesson I showed the friend, okay? Yeah. And today, now I start a new movement is the left, Knee brush. Okay, for the name, very clear, you know, is left hand and have a left knee and have a brush. In Chinese name, it's called Zuo Lu Xi Ao Bu. Zuo is left. Zuo is left. Lo Xi Ao. Lo Xi Ao. The meaning is the hands brush down and the making a Horseshoe circle. So this is Lo Xi Ao Bu is a step. Ao, lots of people don't know what is Ao. Even the Chinese people don't know Ao. For them, it's a very familiar name. Lo Xi Ao Bu, oh, Lo Xi Ao Bu. Everybody know how to do it. But they don't understand what it is Ao. Ao, ne. It's a straight metal. I'm going to bend. Bend was a very hard still. <laughs> so this is Ao, okay? So, Lo Xi Ao Bu means the arms. Look at your arm. Around. So, this is Ao. And also going down Ao is a block. Lo Xi Ao. Then it's a push. So actually it's a good, huh? I also can teach Chinese language. <laughs> yeah. So Zuo Lo Xi Ao Bu. We separate the three sections. Zuo. Lo Xi Ao Bu. So it's Zuo Bu. 
Then in the middle is low xi ao, so it's knee brush down, making a circle. Me brush down, making a circle. So this is low xi ao. So zuo left. Low xi ao, knee brush, bu step. So this movement is we just in English name, we just say left knee brush. But actually really translate the correct is should be left knee brush step. So step, this is zuo lo xi ao bu. So the important is I want to you know and this movement in the Chinese language is very clear. Your arm should be a band. And the low she is around. And the all is going down. Is going down. Okay. Please watch me. First, white the print spreads wings. Left knee brush, one. Two. Three. Okay, this movement is low shi ao bu. Try again. One. Right hand down, left hand up. Two. Elbows back. And circle your forearms, left hand. And left hand. Uh, circle your right arms. Okay, right arm. Elbow, hand, and the left hand is pushed down. Two, three, step. Four. Left knee brush. Okay, now we are training the step. The step. We are from white crane is a sitting stance. Okay, so now we have to change back to bow and arrow stance. So from the sitting stance, the body weight at the back. Now we have to step up, lift up your left foot, step up and transfer the body weight to the front and get arrow and bow. And our body have to be control your hips and turning your upper body and turn to where? Turn to right, then turn back again. So this is very important is turning your waist. So this is the first important of Tai Chi, turning the waist, lose up your waist. Okay, so this movement, you have to, the body movement, you have to control the hips. The hips is not flat. The hips always keep 45 degrees on the angle. Now, you have to be, turn your upper body, in this time, your hips is not moving, okay? Controlled. And only the body and your waist. Uh, your eye looking back for 45 degrees. Then step up, lift up your knees, step out. Then you turn the body to the front. 
the shoulder is flat, but your hips still on the ankles, 45 degrees. That was very important is make sure your waist is totally moved. Okay, I believe uh, from my memory, I was uh, explaining to our Tai Chi friend before, the hips is not a still, but you need to control. When our upper body moved, you must be opposite with your hips. Only your body turn and your hips is controlled. Then you start to feel twisting. If your hips and your upper body turn together, so looks the body is turning, but actually it is nothing exercise inside. So you must be, get your upper body is like a twisting. So that's why we are say silk rolling. This is very important. So get your neck, your chest, your hips and the great exercise. So this movement it is, we have to keep the hips and turn the body, turn the neck, turn the, uh, turn the shoulder and turn the neck. So your body really is turn, 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 turning to the different position. And also I said to before, is like a, the body like a tank. Okay, like a tank. The tank body is not moving, only up forward and backward or the, the tank, also you can turn right or turn left, right. The, the tank, the car body is a still, but on top of the tank car have a cannon. The cannon, it is can turning to 360 degrees, right? So we have to make our hips, like a tank car body and uh, our upper body is like a tank handle. So you can turn it flexible. So that's why the Tai Chi very important is turning the waist. All right then, now we are practice the legs and the body together first. Keep your hips. One, two, the neck turning, huh? Back 45 degrees. Three, step up. Okay, now this time your neck turn back, looking forward, but the body is not moving. Then transfer your body weight, still keep your hips 45 degrees. Then your body turning, turning, turning chest, the shoulder is leveled. But look, my body now is on the angles. The hips is here, it's no push forward. If hips push forward together, okay. Now, this is no benefit for your waist exercise. That also is a very dangerous for the martial art, we say kui shi. Kui shi is what? Is bend your knee. What is bend the knee? Because your knee now should be on the angle out. But if your hips push forward, your knee is going down. So this is very, you don't get a power. Also you're twisting your angles, but also people kick you at the back, you are bent. You hurt your knee. So this is wrong. So very important, I thought this point. And uh, if you are, you want to make a difference with authentic, the real true Tai Chi. And also you are doing the modern Tai Chi and simplified Tai Chi. That's a big,
big different. We all have the technique. Now, the hand movements I put in the last. Why? Very important. Lots of people is only doing hand movements and they forgot the shoulder. They forgot elbow and they forgot open and close the body. And also they also forget the point of the movement. All right, now I just do in front, you have a look. One, two, Not like that. Point. And the right hand, right hand point where? Elbow. One. Two. Okay. Drop your right hand. Circle your forearms. And this time, your left palm and down. And circle up and folding your arm. Okay. One. Two. Three, get ready. Four, knee brush and the push. And push to where? Push to in front of your chest. Don't push outside of your body. Lots of people doing knee brush movement is from the side, you can see is wrong. But in the front, you look, wow, wrong. Have to be inside. Your enemy is in front of your body. Okay, dear? Is not our people. Uh, you're doing the move. <clears throat> so, very important. Now, from the side, you look. My right arm. One, two, okay. Shoulder and elbow, the movement finished. Now circle your forearms up and then folding. And this time you can see my shoulder and elbow, this part, upper arm is not moving. So it's like that. One, use the elbow to hit your enemy. Mm -hmm. Then continue use your arms, your hands, hit your enemy. One, two, Okay, finish it. Get ready to the front. And make sure you look, my hand where? My ear. Lots of people too low. Must be higher up, about your ear high. Then knee brush and push to the center. Let me continue this to show you right arm. One, two, three. Four. Okay, practice again. One. Two, 
three. Look my face to the front. Four. Okay, elbows very important. Okay, 45 degrees. Don't drop your elbow totally. Then your armpit is closed. Look, one, the angle, the elbow is still there. Two, the elbow is there. Three, elbow is still there. Four, look. Cannot be drop your elbow up. <clears throat> so this arm, it is a powerful knot. It depends on the elbow you are. You are enough angle. If you are not enough angle, you drop your angle, then different. Now, the left hand. Okay, the left hands from the white crane. One, the power point. Two, come around the body. Okay, three, push down. Now, the point here. Then, knee brush, three. Okay, from the front, look. Don't up your elbow. Okay, many people's. One, two, yeah. this is wrong. You look, this is wrong. So you must be turning down your elbow. Okay, put arms together. One, two, three. Four. Okay, on the back. Follow me. One, two, three, four. So it's a great exercise. The Tai Chi movement, it is very interesting. It's one hand up, one hand down. Look, right hand down, right hand up. Right hand down, left hand up. Right hand up, left hand down. So the movement is up, down, up, down, up, down, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down. Works with your body. Okay, this is great for your body blood circulation and give you a good level of your blood level. Okay, try again. Now follow me. Okay, I'm back. You can follow me. One. Two. Three, four. One more time. One, two, three, step up, four. Try again. One, two, three, four. Okay. From the side now. One, two. Three, look, knee brush is down. Circle around your knee and push. Okay. 
Okay, palms off. So, all right, it is a great. We all have a good practice, the left knee brush. And uh, I hope uh, our Tai Chi friends, family, you can have a good practice, okay? And the next week, I mean, sorry, the next lesson, two weeks after, will be very important the movement is a connecting part of the circulation okay so i will show you next week and uh, our next lesson and see you soon okay thank you thank you, thank you, thank you master okay thank you master okay. fu and uh, we will hand the stage over to uh, master sun later and we will see everyone in four weeks time thank you Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.